Did you know the story about Joe Ball and who he killed? 75-year-old Robert McBride is a former Bear County Reserve officer. Well, uh, I had heard it from this deputy. One day back in 1966 when he was 35, a deputy and history buff decided to show Robert something he thought was pretty cool down in Elmendorf, south of San Antonio. Then he said, let me show you the alligator pits. So they ventured to the back of this old home off FM 327, where the deputy told Robert the gruesome story of Joe Ball, the butcher of Elmendorf. Never seen anything like that before, you know, and it, it's kind of bizarre. Back in the late 30s, Joe Ball owned a bar, the Sociable Inn. In the back, he kept a concrete pond full of alligators, which he'd feed live animals to entertain his customers. But then, women began to disappear. Joe's girlfriend, Minnie Goddard, was first, and then one of his waitresses, the beautiful Hazel Brown. Never heard of any of those people. Legend has it, Joe killed many others and fed them to his pet alligators to get rid of the evidence, although there's no proof of that. In fact, in 1938, Minnie's body was found in Ingleside, Texas. Hazel's body was found that same year in a shallow grave in Elmendorf. According to police reports, Joe Ball killed her, dismembered her body, and burned her head. And when Texas Rangers confronted Joe about those murders, he killed himself right in front of them. Hey, hey, this is crazy. It always kind of stuck in my mind, you know. Now, fast forward to the year 2005. Robert, who's 70 at this point, gets some shocking news from the only family he's ever known. Uh, Robert, uh, you're adopted. I said, I am? I said, yeah. So the search began. Who were his biological parents? Robert's daughter found a name. This is crazy. Who is uh, Hazel Brown? And she says, Daddy, you better go get her death certificate. So I said, all right. So I went and I got her death certificate. Here it is. Hazel Brown, female, white, widowed. She was 21 years, nine months and three days. She was a waitress. Then I got over to the other side. The nature of injury, body dissected, head burned. The 20th of September, 1938, in Elmendorf, Texas. Hazel Brown, the 21-year-old beauty, brutally murdered by the infamous Joe Ball at the Sociable Inn, was Robert McBride's biological mother. Well, the first thing that went through my mind was, you know, hey, that, that's where I had been. I had, I had seen this. And, and knew, you know, it, I thought, well, isn't that ironic? Hazel gave birth to Robert in 1935 at an orphanage in San Antonio. Now, here is my birth certificate, and I was born as a Kenneth Brown. She put him up for adoption, moved to Elmendorf, and the rest is history. Robert is sad about her tragic death, but he's not resentful towards her for giving him up, not one bit. But just. I guess because I was fortunate. In fact, he says, he's grateful for the mother he never knew. She gave me, by putting me up to, for adoption instead of being terminated, uh, I had a great life. Unfortunately, Robert's search for his biological father continues. I asked Robert if he had any regrets at all about finding out the truth about his biological mother. He said he had one, not finding out in time to meet his real brother. Hazel had two boys from different fathers. Robert's brother passed away in 1989. Delane Matthew, News 4, WOAI.